ओके गुड मॉर्निंग स्टूडेंट्स ऑल ऑफ यू गुड मॉर्निंग हवा यू ओके फाइन लास्ट क्लास वी हाव स्टडीड अबउट मिक्चर साल्ट एनालि हाउ कैन वी ईडेंटिफाइड आनाया सो लास्ट क्लास वी हाव डिस्क अबउट सम आनायानिक रियाक्शन यू नो वेरी वेल हाउ टू ईडेंटिफ आनाया प्रजेंट इन द given mixture salt you know well i thought you understood very well okay last class we discussed about various anions present in the given mixture salt by qualitative analysis method so you know very well for the identification of carbonate ion you what is the test for identification of carbonate ion means test with dilute hydrochloric acid then what is the test for the identification of halides chloride and bromide you know well test with concentrated sulfuric acid then what is the identification test for nitrate you know well copper turnings and concentrated sulfuric acid test it gives positive reaction for nitrate anion then sulfate you know well by using barium chloride solution we have to identify the whether sulfate anion is present in the given mixture salt or not by using barium chloride solution okay so like this so many anions we have discussed in the last previous class you know very well so what are the anions given in the syllabus carbonate chloride bromide nitrate sulfate acetate and borate these are the anions present in the combination of different cations in the mixture salt okay so uh, after that identification of anions uh, Uh, we also known about the confirmatory test for anions in the last class so next coming to the identification and separation of cations into groups okay so in any mixture salt contains in general two anions and two cations so last class we discussed about how to identify two anions present in the given mixture salt so after that next we come to the identification of cations identification of cations so we can identify the cations present in the mixture salt by using the simple tabular form or separation table of cations separation table of cations so here i have given a tabular form or separation table for identification of cations so just you have to observe here identification and separation of cations into groups so first of all we do the test for ammonium cation individually ammonium cation you know very well uh, test for ammonium cation test for ammonium cation so here experiment observation and inference so for the identification of ammonium cation present in the mixture salt we have one is general identification test second one is confirmatory test so here test with sodium hydroxide it is a identification test for ammonium present in the given mixture salt so you take a small amount of sa mixture salt in a test tube and add sodium hydroxide solution then heated gently then what you observed means colorless gas with pungent odor is evolved colorless gas with pungent odor is evolved it gives dense white fumes with glass rod dipped into concentrated hydrochloric acid it gives the 
ammonium may be present in the mixture salt ammonium ion may be present so take a small amount of given mixture salt in a test tube and add sodium hydroxide solution and heat the test tube sometime gently and a bunsen burner then what you observed means a colorless gas with pungent odor is evolved it gives dense white fumes with glass rod dipped into a concentrated hydrochloric acid it gives positive reaction for ammonium cation so maybe presence of ammonium cation in the given mixture salt so a test with sodium hydroxide gives positive reaction for ammonium cation so after that next we do confirmatory test for that ammonium cation proceed second test test with nestler's reagent test with nestler's reagent here also take a small amount of given mixture salt solution to that we have to add nestler's reagent nestler's reagent immediately we have to observe reddish brown precipitate is obtained reddish brown precipitate or sometime reddish color formation also we have to observe it gives confirmatory test for ammonium cation present in the given mixture salt so these are the two individual reactions concern ammonium cation so first test is test with sodium hydroxide that is identification of ammonium cation then test with nestler's reagent it is confirmatory test for ammonium cation okay so uh, after that uh, before this test uh, for the identification of cations some of the cations gives a flame test color flame test here flame test for cations so how to do flame test for cations means here so it is most important flame test flames color flames we have to observe and we have to remind the which color flame indicates the which type of cation so here first you take a small amount of given mixture salt in a watch glass and add concentrated hydrochloric acid and make it as a paste take this paste with the help of the glass rod then this glass rod is introduced in the bunsen burner then you have to observe different color flames so here uh, blue or bluish color flame you have to observe at that time it may be copper cation cu plus 2 cation may be present or apple green flame is observed barium cation may be present then big red flame cation is observed calcium may be present then crimson red flame is observed strontium may be present then violet color flame is observed it indicates potassium ion then flashes of green color flashes of green color, color edges it may be zinc so in this way color flames we have to identify just we have to assume that cation may be present in the given mixture salt okay but we don't confirm only in flame test then we do the different tests identification tests and confirmatory test then only we have to confirm the which type of cation may be present in the given mixture salt okay so let us leave it so test with sodium hydroxide and for ammonium test with nestor's reagent for confirmatory test for ammonium just we discussed then coming to the separation of cations into groups separation of cations into groups so here generally separation of cations into groups there are six groups divided into different cations so here you take 
to the mixture salt solution add dilu diluted hydrochloric acid shake well and centrifuge or filter so you take the given mixture salt solution in a test tube and add diluted hydrochloric acid and shake well at that time you have to observe whether the precipitate is formed or not precipitate is formed or not if the precipitate is formed in the test tube then you have to centrifuge or filter that precipitate okay so to take in a test tube a small amount of given mixture salt solution to that you have to add diluted hydrochloric acid at that time what you observed means here residue and centrifugate residue and centrifugate in other words residue means precipitate centrifugate means filtrate so when you add diluted hydrochloric acid to the given mixture salt solution you have to observe a white precipitate is formed or not a white precipitate is formed or not if white precipitate is formed here group 1 cations are present group 1 cations are present so group 1 cations are here silver lead mercury so these are the cations present in the group 1 when you obtain a white color precipitation when you added diluted hydrochloric acid to the given mixture salt solution at that time you have to observe whether a white color precipitate is formed or not if a white color precipitate is formed you write the group 1 cations may be present in bracket you have to write Ag plus Pb plus 2 Hg plus 2 ok so uh, then you obtained here a white precipitate in this reaction then you filter you take out the white precipitate in the filter paper and transfer it into the another test tube for the uh, identification of confirmatory test then take the filtrate and proceed to the next reaction so here centrifugate or filtrate you don't find out a color precipitation or any precipitation in the uh, first group then you have to add that centrifugate to or to the solution H2S gas is passed and centrifuged so to this centrifugate solution you have to pass H2S gas if any precipitate is observed then it is centrifuged so here centrifugate <coughs> here fill rate so when you add hydrogen sulfide or HTS gas to the centrifugate a black precipitate is obtained that means group 2 cations are present copper and lead mainly so in second group which color formation you have to observe means a black colored precipitate is obtained it indicates group 2 cations are present in the given mixture salt so group 2 cations are copper and lead then you take centrifugate and the centrifugate solution is heated and expel H2S gas and add ammonium chloride ammonium hydroxide solution and centrifuged so here you won't get any type of precipitate then you have to take centrifugate and heat some time then H2S gas is released out so H2S gas is expelled out then to the remaining solutions you have to add ammonium chloride solid and ammonia solution are added at that time you have to observe any precipitate then only you have to centrifuge and filtered so at that time what you have to observe means a gelatinous white precipitate is obtained when in the above centrifugate you have to heat some time and expel H2S gas then cool then you have to add solid ammonium chloride and ammonium hydroxide solution at that time you have to observe 
white gelatinous precipitate is formed or not if white gelatinous precipitate is formed it indicates group 3 cations are present in the given mixture salts group 3 cations are ferrous ferric aluminum and chromium these are the cations concerned in the group third cations okay so next you won't get any precipitate in the third group then you take centrifugate and add h2s gas h2s gas is passed into the centrifugate solution and any type of precipitate is formed then you centrifuge at that time what you have observed means while adding h2s gas to the centrifugate a white color precipitate is formed it indicates group 4 cations are present so group 4 cations are zinc manganese and nickel these are the group 4 cations so when h2s gas is passed into the centrifugate solution at that time you have to obtain a white color precipitate it indicates group 4 cations so you won't get any type of precipitate here then you proceed to centrifugate uh, heat sometime h2s is released from the test tube and h2s gas is boiled off then you add cool sometime and add ammonium chloride ammonium hydroxide and ammonium carbonate excess of ammonium carbonate here you have to add three reagents so we remove the h2s gas by boiling the test tube then cool sometime and add ammonium chloride ammonium hydroxide and excess of ammonium carbonate solutions are added then if any precipitate is observed then centrifuge so in the residue in the fifth group a white colored precipitate is obtained if you obtained a white color precipitate it indicates group 5 cations are present group 5 cations are mainly calcium and barium ca plus 2 and ba plus 2 then you won't get any precipitate in the fifth group then proceed to the centrifugate then proceed to the centrifugate it is used for the testing sixth group cations like ammonium and magnesium individually this ammonium we uh, did already before the separation of cations into groups first we have to do the experiment for ammonium cation if you get a positive reaction here ammonium one cation you may be got here then you want to remaining only one cation that one cation you may got in the separation table uh, out of six group any one group you want to get to the second cation if you want to get here ammonium cation while doing test with sodium hydroxide then test with nessus reagent if you uh, get negative result here you don't get any positive reactions for ammonium then you have to write here under observation column no characteristic reaction ammonium may be absent no characteristic reaction ammonium may not be confirmed so then you proceed separation of cations into groups so in these groups you have to obtain any two groups of positive reaction because your mixture salt contains two cations your mixture salt contains two cations if you got positive reaction for ammonium then you want to get only remaining one cation in the groups only you uh, you got negative reaction while doing the experiment for ammonium cation then you want to get here two cations in any uh, two separate groups okay so after identification of the cations in the groups then you have to do the confirmatory test for that concerned cation uh, presented group so then it is only identification of cations separation table after identification of this group then you have to proceed the confirmatory test for the identified cations 
confirmatory tests for already identified cations okay no need to do all confirmatory tests what you cations you obtained while doing experiment in the previous then only you have to do the confirmatory test for that suitable cations only so here in this way we separate the cations into groups so first group cations are silver lead mercury second group cations are copper lead third group cations are ferrous aluminum chromium fourth group cations are zinc manganese nickel fifth group cations are calcium and barium sixth group cations are ammonium and magnesium okay so these are the cations separated in the into the groups okay separation of cations into groups so just you have to remember uh, you get the first group cation what which type of reagents you have to add so to the mixture salt solution diluted hydrochloric acid is added then any precipitate is formed or not next proceed to the uh, to that solution h2s gas is passed any precipitate is obtained or not and proceed to the centrifugate we remove the to you expel the h2s and add ammonium chloride ammonium hydroxide solutions then observed any gelatinous white precipitate is obtained in the third group or not then proceed to the centrifugate then h2s is passed and centrifuged then observed a white precipitate is formed or not in fourth group then next proceed to fifth group then proceed to the sixth group so uh, serially okay in this way we do the experiment for the identification of cations it is only separation table for the identification of cations so next after identification of cations into groups next uh, we do the confirmatory test for cations confirmatory test for cations so here in the entrance any pg entrance or bed entrance here in these mixture salt analysis by qualitative analysis method here flame tests are observed very important here which colored flame indicates which type of cation so sometimes regularly asking questions here in flame test you got the apple green flame which type of cation you have to identify it at that time your answer is barium your answer is barium so your salt contains here copper cation in the flame test it gives blue or bluish green flame your salt contains barium cation barium chloride or barium nitrate salts are given to you at that time in the flame test you observed apple green flame apple green flame it indicates barium cation then calcium carbonate salt or calcium chloride salt you want to get at that time you have to observe brick red flame it indicates calcium crimson red flame it indicates transium violet color flame it indicates potassium then flashes of green it indicates zinc so it, these are the important for the objective type questions then while here while heating tests you have to observe you take a small amount of given mixture of salt and heat sometime at that time you have to observe uh, generally white color layer in the inner uh, walls of the test tube it indicates sublimation due to the presence of ammonium sublimation reaction undergoes then you have to observe white fumes uh, deposited on the inner walls of the test tube sublimation reaction ammonium okay so these are the separation of cations into groups so next class we have to observe what are the confirmatory test for different cations so separation test for first group cation separation test for second group cations 
separation test for third group cations, separation test for fourth group cations, separation test for fifth group cations, separation test for sixth group cations. Why? Because each group is having more than two cations here. Each group is having more than two cations. So, you won't get two cations in the same group. You won't get two cations in the same group. Okay. In this group only you want to get one cation in one group. One cation in one group. So, remaining cation into separated any other groups. Or you got ammonium cation previously before going to the separation table then at that time you want to get any group 1 cation any group 1 cation so in this way we do the experiment in our chemistry laboratory uh, while observing uh, salt analysis procedure salt analysis qualitative salt analysis method we have to proceed and do the experiment one by one you want to get positive reactions okay so next uh, class uh, we have to be continued in the next class for the confirmatory test for cations. Okay.